Now, here's the thing. You just retweeted something for that Time's Up did. Mm-hmm. And they talked about how the $20 million that CBS is donating mm-hmm. from the Les Moonves, um alleged $120 million severance, they should do more. Mm-hmm. That's what the, the tweet was. For you, if you were still there, mm. How tough would it be or would it not be tough for you to deal with? Because I thought Sharon Osbourne did a great job. Did you see what she said on the show? I, I actually, I haven't seen the episode. Yeah. Um, but that, did you that, hear that she said, you know, she was like caring for a friend. Yeah. Julie Chen. Mm-hmm. But she also said, but this seems like a pattern. You know, I, I'll i say, first of all, that I have such extraordinary love for Julie. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like inexpressible. Like, I don't think I have words to really to say it, uh, to articulate how kind, how supportive, what a warm hearted person mm-hmm. that woman is and how much she's done for me. Not in the fancy Hollywood way, yeah. just in the like real like like call on a Saturday night. I need your advice or I need a shoulder to cry on. Way. Like, yeah. She's she's just real. Yeah. I think that what. Time's Up is trying to say is bigger than just this particular situation, mm-hmm, this particular corporation, that these companies in Hollywood that have for years swept this stuff under the rug or enab- enabled predators, enabled harassment, need to put their money where their mouths are. Mm-hmm. That it can't just be about this one guy and we're going to get rid of this one person and things are going to be better, but that they've been enabling a culture of harassment and, and suppression since the beginning of the of the culture yeah. in Hollywood and not just in Hollywood but obviously in this country mm-hmm. and so what I'm hoping and, and it's funny because I actually had this conversation with my father this is a good one because I love my mm-hmm. father he's very pro-woman he raised a single daughter right. you know I mean so much of who I am came from him but he goes man they're crazy if they think they're, that CBS gonna give that whole $120 a time <laughs> <Right, exactly. laughs> dad I don't think that's what they're saying right. I think what they're saying is it can't just be a donation. It has to be a sea change. Yes. We have to change the way we think about the way that we treat women. Mm-hmm. And also as women, and I think this is happening, we need to be listening to other women, supporting other women, oh, believing yeah. other women, and, and coming forward on each other's behalf. Yeah. Because we've been buying a story for a long time that's a lie, yeah. which men have been telling, which is there's only space for one woman. Yes. And so they create an idea mm-hmm. where we start fighting each other yes. instead of fighting the mm-hmm. patriarchy. Yeah. And so we all we all have to change. Yeah. We have men have to change mm-hmm. and we have to women have to not cede any ground. Yep. And that means supporting each other. That means listening to each other. And that means loving each other and seeing that. And I said this all the time when I was on the talk because people would go, well, how can five women work together? How does that work? And Which I was is like, so ridiculous to even say. You know, they know like, ass out of no, men. How do, well, how do the five dudes at NFL Sunday ticket right, get along? Right, Who be pulling right, off who's too paid? Right, exactly. Like it's a ridiculous concept on his face. But for me, in that space, on that show, I always felt this, and we all did, high tide raises all boats. If one woman is out there winning, she's making space for other women to win. She's not right. taking anything away from the rest of us. Right. So I think what they're saying, what Time's Up is saying, and what Me Too is saying is we need to believe women, and we need to change the culture. So yeah. it's not just about a check. No. It's about changing the way you, it, what they're saying is you can't just write a yeah, check. exactly. You need to change. Yeah. Definitely. And I, I'm, I'm in such agreement with that. And, and, you know, it's so ironic that so many people are out there, corporations are out there do talking the talk, but they're not walking mm-hmm. the walk. You know, I actually, I work with a lot of brands and mm-hmm. a lot of companies, as do you. And I had to, you know, say to them, I had to write a letter like, you know, you're saying all of this you about inclusion and diversity. And then I look and it's like, mm-hmm. yikes, mm-hmm. little Exactly. Like, wait, so I, don't, I don't care about diverse. your damn press release, yo. Like, you need to do something. Yeah, you, you need know? to do yeah. it, right? Yeah, exactly. And I think it is, Um, I think you're in a beautiful space in your life where you do have that freedom. I can tell that you feel very empowered. Oh, my God. And, and, Thank and, you. And, and, like, you're in a good space. Well, anyway, the, the fact that you quit a, a damn good paying I nationally. Know, I'm insane. <laughs> no, you know, you're not I, insane. You're free. 